We're very fortunate in California to have about three dozen different uh, types of oak trees, including species and uh, different varieties within those species of oaks. Uh, the one I'm standing in front of today is the Engelmann oak, Quercus engelmannii. Um, it's, uh, it's actually a rare oak. Um, only exists in Southern California, first of all, that was its range, but within Southern California, it uh, really uh, only remains in a few places. Um, the largest populations are in San Diego County, uh, there's some in the Pasadena, San Marino area, and um, then we're fortunate enough in Riverside County to have a population up on the Santa Rosa Plateau in the southwest portion of the county. Uh, the Engelman Oak Superficially, overall, it uh, the shape, and you can mistake it for many of the other oaks, but there are certainly differences. Um, uh, for one, uh, in contrast with, say, the coast live oak, it, the, which has uh, uh, spiny-edged uh, leaves, um, the leaves of the Engelman oak are, do not have any teeth on them. Uh, their margins are uh, smooth, they, they can be wavy or flat, um, but perhaps one of the most distinguishing characteristics is the color. They're uh, really a beautiful bluish green, uh, kind of a dusty matte surface on them, um, and uh, really just a, a beautiful tree. Um, they can attain a height of approximately uh, 40 feet, and like any of the oak trees that we have, while they may uh, reach maturity and, and look like a tree uh, within 20 years, 40 years. You really don't get that beautiful contorted uh, uh, shape of an oak tree um, for several decades. Um, but still worth planting to uh, uh, save a, a, a rare uh, species of oak.